Oh, sweet music to the ears. Crickets. Everybody knows what a cricket is, right? Well, I tell you, crickets are a small little creature. They like to feed on uh, uh, plant material. They'll feed on uh, dead insect bodies. They feed on clothing. Uh, they'll feed on leather. Uh, when the numbers become so large around structures, homes, commercial buildings, oftentimes they'll enter those buildings and they become a, a, a just an extremely a nuisance pest. So uh, what we can do for that, there's a couple of products that we use. One's called uh, Entice Select Granules and the other is actually called Larvalure. Uh, tell you, why don't you come with me? We've got a situation here where we've got some crickets that, that have been entering uh, into a garage area in a home. And uh, let me show you how to apply this product. All right, so here we are on the side of a house. We've had some cricket issues here. So there's a couple of products, again, that we're going to use. Uh, we're going to use the Entice Granular Ant Bait, or we can use the Larvalor. In this particular uh, instance, we're going to use the Entice Granular Bait. Um, this bottle. It uh, has uh, two openings on it. One uh, is a larger opening here where you can actually pull product out with spoons if you wish. Um, and then the other side is kind of like a salt shaker type uh, where you can just sprinkle it right out of the canister itself, which is the applicator that we're going to use for this particular job. So uh, uh, again, we're going to uh, apply this product uh, in areas around the structure. Uh, make sure that you uh, don't put it in areas where you have uh, some standing water, so make sure the area is dry when, at, uh, when applied. Uh, we're going to apply at the rate of about two pounds per thousand square feet, so it's going to be spread out pretty thin. We're going to put it right up against the structure. You could, if you wanted to, create a swath of about a two foot area uh, from the slab out uh, if, if you want to. So uh, we're going to take the product and we're just going to start sprinkling it right up against the house. And we're going to go all the way around until we're complete. The other product we can use is the, the Larvalor. Um, Larvalor contains the uh, Propoxer. Uh, it's got a pretty good residual on it. It's a pelletized bait uh, instead of a grainer type bait. Um, it's great for, for not only the crickets, but it's also great to use for uh, cockroach control as well product can be used up in attics and also on the exterior. In this particular case we are going to use it on the exterior. Uh, on the top here we have a uh, flip top that uh, has holes perf uh, poked into it which uh, kind of creates kind of like a, the salt shaker type thing again uh, just like on the entice. And we're going to take this product and we're going to sprinkle it around the structure at a rate of about four ounces per thousand square feet uh, creating a swath up against the slab of about two to three feet. Uh, if you will. Uh, the crickets are drawn to it and they'll feed on it uh, and kill them. So uh, let's go ahead and apply our product. And as you see, we can just take it, just come on out with it about two or three feet from the house. And we're going to do this all the way around. All right, we've gone all the way around the house. Uh, we're done. I mean, it's as simple as that. Uh, crickets will be drawn to, to either one of these baits that we've used here. Both are very effective. Both are also labeled for cockroaches and the silverfish and, your, uh, and some species of ants uh, and, of course, the crickets. Um, so just make sure that when you apply these products, you apply it on a day where it's not uh, raining. Uh, don't put it in areas where you have high moisture. Make sure the area is completely dry. Uh, and usually you get control within a matter of a, of a week or so. Um, Anyway, I'm Keith McCoy with Solution Self-Chem. Ask us how, then do it yourself.